Welcome back to the Booze Buddy Update for Thursday, February 10th of 2022. It's brought to you by The Real Voice, Mel Allen, providing voiceovers for podcasts, explainer videos, commercials, and more. You can get samples and demos by heading over to therealvoice.com. Well, the one thing about a super weekend with the NFL is that we'll have some big arguments over things like snacks, of course the teams, and beer. Uh, Instacart isn't focusing on the teams playing, but they have the beers and snacks taken care of for sure. Uh, they have a list of the ones that people order the most for the Super Bowl weekend. I wasn't surprised at all by many on the list, but the number one beer spot taken by Modelo Especial? Yeah, that's definitely the underdog for my personal picks, but it's a beer I would definitely drink any day of the week. You can get the list of the top snacks, dips, and more with the Snack Time Report at the link in the show notes. And here's a way to say I love you for Valentine's Day, birthdays, or really any big day. Make ahead freezer cocktails. I haven't personally done this before, but I can tell you, I think I'm going to start now. Who wouldn't want to reach into the freezer and pull out a perfectly chilled and ready to drink martini, Negroni, old fashioned, or perhaps appropriately for this weekend and Monday, a flame of love. Several recipes, the proper storage, it's all shared by experts. Uh, they include, of course, how to make it the best day. Uh, do it now while you're thinking about it and surprise your significant other. I think I'm going to go make a combination of milk and honey and Kahlua that uh, my wife really loves. The link, of course, in the show notes. And this guy might be my new hero. I've wanted to personally do this myself in my own state, uh, but responsibilities. Anyway, Paul Myhill went through the state of Colorado to drink through 467 breweries, brew pubs, tap rooms, and more. And how long did it take him? A decade? Five years? No. 18 months. It started out as many of these things do when he went out for a round with a friend. Before he knew it, he had a personal challenge to visit 30 breweries in 30 days, then 100 in 100 days, and well, you get the picture. So not only did he hit all of those places in his state, but he stopped at 150 places outside of the state while on vacations during that time. He tracked it all on a spreadsheet. Get the full details, including the most unusual beer he drank, which I probably would do more, no more than sample <laughs> at the list in the show notes. On the way, still plenty of time to check out uh, Greg Dunkling and the Business of Craft Beer program at UVM. And of course, that was the Booze Buddy Update Another Round special edition. It's on the YouTube channel. It's also uh, pinned right to the top of the Twitter feed. The links to those are in the show notes as well. And this coming weekend, we'll go another round on the environment. Yeah, more details as we get closer and what that has to do with beer and drinking, etc. The Booze Buddy Update continues on video on Spotify. Thanks for watching it right alongside the podcast. And thanks to those who are going and watching on the YouTube channel. You can head to boozebuddyupdate.com to comment or to get in touch with me. And remember, don't drink and drive. Stay safe, drive sober, and support the booze that is supporting your local community. And I'll see you again tomorrow before we get into another round.